Are you wondering if now's the right time to buy or sell in Kitchener Waterloo? Join us for this month's comprehensive market update. Roll the intro. Want to succeed in the real estate game? The key to success is staying informed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Winter activities are in full swing in Kitchener Waterloo, but the real estate market hasn't been as cheerful. January saw an exceptionally low number of homes sell, even compared to the usual winter slump. That being said, average home prices are up despite the lack of sales. Stick with us and we'll explore what's contributing to the sales slump, why are sale prices up, and will this trend continue into the spring, and what should you do if you're thinking about buying or selling sometime soon. Let's start with total sales. A total of 297 residential homes were sold in January through the MLS system in Kitchener-Waterloo, which is a decrease of 41.9% compared to January 2022. Total residential sales in January included 176 detached homes, 17 semi-detached homes, 61 townhouses, and 43 condo units. So that gives us a good overview. Let's have a look at price. The average sale price for all residential properties in the Kitchener-Waterloo area was just over $764,000. This is a 38.5% decrease compared to January of last year and almost a 6% increase compared to last month. The average price of a detached home was just over $888,000. A 21.5% decrease compared to January of last year and almost an 8% increase compared to last month. The average price for a semi was just under $651,000. Also a 21.5% decrease compared to January of last year but a 5.5% increase compared to last month. The average sale price for townhomes was just under $626,000. A 26.1% decrease compared to January of last year and a 2.2% increase compared to last month. The average sale price for an apartment style condo was just under $496,000, which is only a 9% decrease compared to January of last year and actually a 6.1% increase compared to last month. So what's happening here? If we have a look at the trend line of last year, we can see the peak at the beginning of the year in about February and a downward trend towards July or so, and then the market still dipped at the end of the last quarter. Now we have low inventory, we still have low sales, but relatively the buyers that are in the market right now, they have a limited selection, which in turn now is driving prices up. So will this trend continue into the spring considering the recent interest rate hike? We'll have to wait and see. But if we have a look at environments where we have low inventory, low supply and relatively higher demand, the prices tend to trend upwards in this environment. So if we don't get enough supply coming into the market and there's still a lot of buyers, we likely will see an increase in sale prices in the next few months. Now, moving on to volume. There were 579 new listings added to the MLS system in KW and area last month a decrease of 13.3% compared to January of last year. There were 651 homes available for sale in an active status at the end of January. The number of months of inventory in January was one. As a refresher, the number of months of inventory represents how long it would take to sell off the current inventory on the market at the current rate of sales. The average number of days to sell a home in January actually went down, so homes are selling a little bit quicker compared to December. Now, this is probably due to the fact that there's lower inventory on the market and buyers have a limited selection of homes that would fit their criteria that they can offer on. Okay, so what's happening? Right now, low inventory, reduced amount of sales, but any buyers that are in the market right now if you guys are watching right now, you're probably seeing that homes are selling a bit quicker. What we're even noticing is that many homes are going into multiple offers. We're seeing homes sell within a few days if they're priced correctly. Some are going just a bit under asking, some are going just a bit over, and we've even seen a few go $100,000 or $200,000 over the list price. So that's a little bit 
refreshing to the sellers and it might be a little bit scary to the buyers because buyers are gonna get gridlocked. There's affordability is much lower than it was last year and if prices are gonna jump up, it's gonna cut out more buyers out of the buying process or you're gonna have to actually compromise and get a smaller home uh, that's not as desirable or, or exactly what you want. Will this trend continue into the spring? Well, that depends. If we continue to have lower inventory than normal, this will create a more competitive environment for buyers. They will tend to gravitate towards the best home in their price range, which will then drive up the price on that home because it'll sell quicker. There'll be more than one person interested in that home at the same time. Now, that being said, as you know, historically, as we get into the spring market, more sellers will be listing their home on the market, but there will also be more buyers coming into the market. So we'll have to wait and see. Have we hit the bottom yet? I'm not sure, but seeing prices turn around, we could be there. You know, we could be in that bottom part now if we look at the trend line a year out, two years out, and we look at it retrospectively later. But for now, if you're looking at buying, you're gonna probably have to move a bit quicker on homes. Uh, we're seeing more competition, more multiple offers, and there's not as much um, time to wait and think about things. If you're a seller, and you're thinking about selling in the spring or maybe the summer, now, be, now may be a good time to consider listing your home on the market because you have less competition with your neighbors or comparable homes like yours being on the market. So if you show well, buyers have limited selection, your home will get more attention now, relatively speaking, and it may sell quickly and you could get a great price. Anyways, folks, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next month.